Hi everyone, if you've been following my YouTube channel or followed my Facebook page or I've seen my website in recent times um, you'll know that I enjoy dinosaur models as much as I enjoy my Mecha and Gundam models. Now I'm always on the lookout for some new and exciting pieces. Stuff that's not so common. So whilst there is a million T-Rexes and a heap of Triceratopses and Stegosauruses, sometimes it's interesting just to do something a little bit different. Now I've noticed in the current issue of, well current as recording, um, issue 116 of the prehistoric times, that there was a review inside for a bust of a Carnotaurus. Now this Carnotaurus was sculpted by a experienced sculptor but relatively new to um, the garage kit scene and his name is Paul Tanampong, which I hope I pronounced his last name right. Um, and he has a new store on Etsy called Blue Dinos. So I looked them up and he had on his Etsy site um, the Carnotaurus as a resin bust, um, a hand painted red version or a hand painted green version. Well, I was quite interested in getting the Carnotaurus until I saw what he had um, in as a work in progress that was going to be released shortly. And it is in this box. Now, I ordered this, um, it oh, took about 10 days to arrive from California in the United States to myself here in Australia. Um, it cost me just over $100 Australian, that was with postage, and inside this box, which I'll open in a second, is a 1 to 10 scale bust of a Regal Ceratops. So I thought, I've already had a look inside, but I thought I'd just open this on camera so everyone can see exactly how much um, care it was taken with the packaging and what to expect if you do order from Paul. Um, from the uh, Blue Dinos website. So as I open it up, we receive a nice little letter which reads, Dear customer, thank you very much for your support. I appreciate your purchase and look forward to be able to present more sculpts to you in the near future. This resin kit is in three pieces and very simple to put together. Most of the flashings are scraped off, but some may still be there. All you need to do after is glue the horn to the top to the base and you're good to go. And please note that everything is done by hand, so there will be areas that may need attention fixing, but very minimal. This is a great piece that is the best for collection and is not a toy. Poly a urethane resin is tough, but can break. Paint can also be chipped if handled roughly or dropped. Please enjoy and keep on collecting. And then it goes on to uh, suggest to look at his Facebook page and uh, add links down the bottom there, which I will also put in the links of um, in the description below. So that's a nice little letter from the sculptor. And inside we have some bubble wrapped up pieces. So I'll take out, we have the main piece there. We also have a couple of uh, business cards. We have, that is the base. And the third piece is uh, the horn. So what we'll do first is I'll open up the base and we'll have a look at that. So there we go, it is a resin cast and primed base for the uh, the head to go on. Just open up this little package here, which will be the main horn. There is our main horn. 
which I'm checking out the detail. The detail is very, very nice and crisp and clear. Just a little bit of clean up on that one side there. And finally, we have the bust of the Regal Ceratops. Now first impressions is I'm very impressed with the uh, the quality of the cast. Uh, we do have just a few bubbles on the bottom here but I doubt that they'll be seen once it's mounted onto the base. Everything looks very good. There's, I can't see any obvious flashes or there's a little tiny bit in here along the mouth line uh, but it's very minimal that'll take like two minutes to remove with the knife uh, just a little piece along there this side's good um, I can't see oh there's a couple of tiny little flash marks very very minimal cleanup so that's probably going to take me uh, 10 minutes at most to quickly run the uh, the sandpaper over it. So as you can see compared to my hand uh, this is a, a pretty big beast. As I said before it's won the 10 scale of the uh, recently discovered Regal Ceratops which the horn goes in like so. So that just needs to be attached with glue so what I'll actually do at the moment I've got a bit of blue tack here just so it holds into place while I handle it on the video there we go so that is the uh, the real ceratops bust so just mount it onto our base as you can see there, you can't actually see those those bubbles anymore. So there we go. So you can also uh, buy this. You can buy this in this form. So I'm going to paint this however I like. Um, it comes as you can see. It's come primed. It's casted in resin, primed, and Paul's taken the time to clean up a lot of the flash. As, as I showed there is a couple minimal points but it is very very quick and easy to remove he also does have other versions of pre-painted that he will actually paint himself so everything he does it is done by hand so he actually he sculpted it he actually casts it in his um, studio and he will prime and clean it up and send it to you if you wish but if you want to paint want it pre-painted for just for a collection piece um, he sells limited edition versions uh, which were which are listed in his Etsy store so you can just go check out the link from below in the, um, the description here and um, see what else he's got because at the moment as as recording he does have the Carnotaurus bust and he does have the the real Ceratops and he's also um, moving into uh, other busts plus he was talking about doing a full body a full dinosaur of this actual bust here not to this scale but obviously a bit smaller so yeah uh, in in uh, conclusion this is a pretty awesome and different uh, dinosaur model and it's definitely something I'm really looking forward to painting and displaying in my in my display case. So thank you very much for, very much for watching. Uh, check out the links below for uh, the Blue Dinos uh, web store and Facebook page, etc. And um, please support this artist by buying his awesome products.